March in the Russian automotive industry began with the official start of sales of Moskvich 3 cars, which are a Chinese crossover Jack JS4. The assembly of these cars began at a plant bought from Renault, which left Russia. Moskvich 3 is equipped with an engine with a working volume of 1.5 liters and a power of 150 HP, paired with which they install either a manual gearbox or a variator. The main event of March in the Russian automotive industry was the restoration of production of the Lada Vesta car at the country's largest automobile plant, Avtobaz. Last year, the production of these cars was discontinued due to the lack of several important components that fell under the sanctions. Now some of these components have begun to be produced in Russia, and some are purchased in friendly countries. The Avtobaz plant plans to produce 100,000 Lada Vesta cars in 2023. In the shadow of such significant plans was the resumption of production at the Avtobaz plant of another Lada. This is the Neva Bronto, a modification of the famous Lada Neva sub with increased cross-country ability. The UAS company also overcame one of the serious restrictions associated with Western sanctions imposed on it. Off-road vehicles and light trucks produced under the UAS brand began to be again equipped with ABS systems, which are important from a safety point of view. The Gaz Company, specializing in the production of light and medium trucks, until recently equipped them with Cummins diesel engines. During 2022, the company bought a license for the production of one of the Chinese diesel engines with a displacement of 2.5 liters and localized its production. Thus, the company got rid of dependence on the supply of one of the most important units for itself. In March, Gazelle Next light trucks with diesel engines of Gaza's own production went into mass production and began to be delivered to dealerships. The Avtoder company from Kaliningrad, which before the start of the Russian-Ukrainian war was engaged in the assembly of several European and Korean brands of cars and trucks, is switching to assembling Chinese cars. In February, Avtoder launched Chinese passenger cars, and in March it began producing Chinese fit and trucks. Their assembly is carried out on the same conveyor where Korean Hyundai trucks were previously assembled. By the end of the year, Avtoder plans to assemble and sell 5,000 Chinese trucks on the Russian market. In Russia, not only are they restoring the production of cars at existing plants, but also opening new plants. In March, the Chelyabinsk City Electric Transport Plant began work, where they have already begun to produce trolleybuses, and later they will also start producing electric buses unified with them. Their premiere took place at the end of last year at the BW Expo in Moscow. The new plant is designed to produce 350 trolleybuses and electric buses per year, but if necessary, this number can be tripled. To date, the plant is already busy fulfilling an order for the supply of 168 trolleybuses to the city of Chelyabinsk. But this is not the largest contract for electric transport in Russia. In March, the largest contract in Europe for the supply of electric buses was signed between the Kamaz company and the city of Moscow. According to this contract, by the end of 2024, the Russian capital will receive 1,000 Kamaz electric buses, thereby doubling their number. In March, the fate of one of the oldest joint ventures, which was called Iveco Amt and worked in the city of Mias for more than a quarter of a century, was determined. This company assembled Iveco tracker heavy trucks, and also created original models based on them with the number of axles from 2 to 5. Now Iveco has withdrawn from the founders. But the Russian company, now called m and didn't stop working. She has found a new partner, the well-known Chinese truck manufacturer Jack Motors, with which a contract has been concluded for the supply of assembly kits. It is assumed that m and will assemble trucks with gross weight from 12 to 90 tons with the number of axles from 2 to 5. The main feature of cooperation with Jack Motors is that these will be not only off-road trucks for the construction, logging and mining industries, but also road trucks for logistics and long-haul transportation. Now let's see what's new in March happened in the production of Russian special equipment. In connection with the departure of American, Japanese and European companies from the Russian market, Russian manufacturers of excavators have cheered up, which in recent years have not been able to compete with their leading world manufacturers. 
the Ivanovo company Kranix has produced few of its own excavators over the past few years, making its main business in the supply of components and equipment for Russian excavator plants of foreign manufacturers. Now Kranex has announced the restoration of its own mass production of excavators and the launch on the Russian market of a whole range of new and modified models weighing from 22 to 51 tons. Chetra, a well-known company on the Russian construction equipment market, developed its own excavator several years ago, but did not start producing them due to high competition in the market. Now the time for such production has come. The Chetra company announced the start of production of a whole line of excavators with a similar weight range from 22 to 51 tons. Russian manufacturers of truck cranes today are completely absorbed in solving difficult issues of import substitution of high-strength steels for crane booms and hydraulics for crane installations, but they continue to bring new models to the market. The plant of truck cranes in the city of Chelyabinsk offered customers the so-called city crane with a lifting capacity of 25 tons. This is a truck crane on a compact, and therefore maneuverable, two-axle commas chassis. It is designed to lift loads to a height of up to 22 meters and, when equipped with a cradle, can be used as a car lift. The leading Russian plant for the production of heavy trucks commas, in order to compete with Chinese dump trucks that are actively occupying the Russian market, modernized its heavy dump truck using Chinese drive axles with increased permissible load in its design. These dump trucks far exceed the permissible limits for use on public roads, but now the authorities do not pay attention to this. The Chinese have been supplying such dump trucks to Russia for several years, and Russian manufacturers eventually found themselves forced to also develop similar dump trucks with increased payload.